hi guys so in this video I'm going to show you how I created this HDRI map from the Google Earth uh, I have linked the websites that I'm going to use in this video so basically you can download HDRIs from this website HDRI heaven um, but since I want a specific location so I'm going to show you guys how I got that using Street View Download 360 so this is the area that I want the Eau Claire Road and you're just gonna get, grab this guy and drop it to whichever location you want and so and this is the website where we're going to use to download this um, Google Earth information and this is the street view download 360 first you need to download um, this app which is going to convert which is going to let you save the 360 image so they have uh, an option where you can download the area, area directly from this app but it's not free um, if you have the pro version you can do that but since I don't have the pro version I'm going to use this uh, two other two more steps to just download the 360 image of the area that I want so just drop the guy over here over here and this is the location this is the image that I want to save so this is the location that I want so first you have to copy your URL and go to iStreetView.com load a panorama and paste your URL here for your 360 view and press load that will load your view and once you've gotten your view set you have to go here and copy to copy the panorama ID and then go to open your Street View Download 360 paste it here save your set your location and then you can set any uh, resolution but I'm just going to use this download panorama there you have it you can create 360 videos using this and you can even load and load it and see how it looks like so after this I have touched up the image to make the colors better but the thing is this is still a JPG uh, and we need an HDR for this to work on 3ds Max so I'm going to convert this in on using this website so once you've gotten your HDR map there are two ways to do that one way is if you have V-Ray bitmap over here you can use that as an HDR map but I don't have that so I'm going to do go for the second second way of doing this um, which is using the environment and effects so by default you have these HDR maps but I'm just going to add the map at the one that I downloaded and at first this is how it's going to look and since I have the V-Ray Sun here uh, and I had the V-Ray exposure control it was too bright so you have to make sure uh, set it to no exposure control for you to get this go to environment edit in SME slide material editor Once you have that you can so the, from the height you can lower it from the rotation you can set your area you can even uh, adjust your exposure level for the render and that's how you get it Thank you.